Hey yo, are you ready, Freddy? Are you ready, Freddy? I'm ready, Freddy. Yeah, episode twenty-eight, dude. You already have your popcorn set up and ready to go. I'm trying to put the mic away when I chew back. There's so many comments still. It's like, please stop eating on the podcast. I haven't seen one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) They're there. I don't look. Anyway, bro. I just want to talk. Uh, I want to talk about your song and video came out. I just want to talk about it for a second. just a second before we get into it. Fine Apple music video just came out. It's a big deal. Uh, this is your big, biggest song yet, and it's doing really well. And it's out. And I'm happy for you. And your cakes filmed the music video. I did film it, but he sang it. <laughs> <laughs> so good point. <laughs> there's that. Cakes filmed there's the music. Video. He did a good job. You guys got to hype cakes up on the video. Okay, go watch it and hype him up. Uh-huh. Do it, bro. Help my ego out a little bit, you know? Look, so Allison said, please stop eating. See? I haven't eaten breakfast. I'm one busy, day, man. One day, we're going we're gonna to you schedule rather- your breakfast before we start filming. I don't have time. Would no, you rather I- me die or eat on the podcast? Die. Okay. <laughs> die. Bro, I would, la- I would go to your funeral and just be like, thanks Mom, for waiting. Listen. Bro, why do old people smell like mothballs? I woke up and I drove here. Why do old people smell like mothballs? Mothballs. Yeah. Have you ever noticed that? Every single old person, bro, <laughs> you walk into their house, for whatever reason, it's mainly in their closet. Straight up mothballs. This is my guess. Yeah. We got we got one. Just this is my guess. I'm ready. It has something to do. With a faster rate of dying skin cells. They mold quicker. (laughs) It's something to do with... The spongiosity of their skin. It's like their internal organs are just bleeding from the outside in? No. No, it has a lot to do with... Water retention. In their skin? Mm Mm-hmm. That's where the smell comes from? You ever touch an old person's arm? It's very soft. Yeah. Very moist. So you're saying the old people smell... It's not... It's water ex- retention. It's not an external smell. It's an internal smell from the person. It's the water retained in the skin. It can't be that like old people just more than other people buy mothballs. It's their skin. Mm-hmm. It's their yeah. skin. Mm-hmm. And, and do they you- don't dust as often. It's a fair point. I don't dust ever. (laughs) So. I don't smell it. I'll check in a couple years. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think, uh, do you think the mothball companies got their smell from old people then? Because it's, it is exactly, bro. Yeah, where is it? It's not like similar. It is exact. Like they based the scent off of it. Yeah. Like when you get raspberry lemonade chewing gum. (laughs) You know where they got the scent. <laughs> Do they have scented mothballs? And just the standard is if you look in the corner and the ingredients, there's yeah, old people's old, skin. Old scent. <laughs> old people's scent. I never thought this deep about it. Yeah. It is interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, they all smell very similar. It's the same, dude. It's like as soon as you hit 70... It just turns, bro. You go from having a musk to having a dust. It's very dusty. Very Absolutely. dusty. It's moist. It's, all, it's moist. It's a moist smell. It's, a, it's I'm telling you, it's, it's something to do with water retention in the skin. I believe you. Yeah. I don't need you to explain that, but I believe you. Yeah. That, it has to be. There's it's no the only way it makes sense yeah. to me. There's no other explanation than that. Well, let's jump to this first live viewer question. This comes from Morgan Mascaro. Would you rather be chased by an alien every day that never engages with you <laughs> or get abducted and probed at one time? I mean, are we talking about probed? Are we talking about like... Yeah, right, right, yeah. In, right in the poop shoot, dude. What's it doing? Yeah. Like, hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you with say- what? Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm asking, with a finger? No, I'm, a probe, bro. A, what's a probe? It's like a giant machine that has like a metal rod that just goes... <laughs> <laughs> right, how thick? As thick as it needs to be. No, dude. no, how thick? There's different sizes, I'm bro. talking I need girth. I need to know the girth. It girl. depends. 
It depends on the type of ale. It could be this. Are we talking about? <laughs> it could be a full water, water bottle. bottle? Yeah, but longer. Wait, sorry? Like a baseball bat. Yeah, but it, it doesn't fit. <laughs> and not the skinny side first. No? No. Because well, you know if you put the skinny side first, it's not coming back out. It's like a butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it just, so you just, you're getting abducted, yeah. right? You're like, wow, didn't expect this. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, you get up there, and they're like, you know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, pull them down. Yeah. Like, that's it, like, and then they drop it, you back off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, do you know it's coming, just not when? Like, you know, like, at some point in my life, I'm going to be abducted and probed. You just don't know when. So you have to live with that anxiety, like, your whole life. You're just like, one day, I'm going to be abducted. And... <laughs> <laughs> It's like, like, do you lay on your side? No, you're on your you're stomach. You're on your stomach. You're on your stomach, dude. You're on your stomach. I feel like that would be the way to, like, if it had to happen, I feel like it would be the way to do it. Hold on. I'm like this, you're saying. Yeah, let me get a bat. Um, yeah, I'm like this. <laughs> get a bat. No, nah, don't get a bat. All right, so this is me. I'm on the ship. <laughs> yeah. And then what? <laughs> Bro, look at me. I'm like... I'm moving around like I'm on a UFO. <laughs> I'm on a UFO right now. And then what happens? Uh, I don't want. I don't want to demonstrate. I don't uh, want to demonstrate. Do they? Do they spit on it? <laughs> <laughs> They're just like they take it and just. Hey! It's, coming, it's coming in this fast, dude. How's your father? <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if I could take it. You wobbling around. One more time. One more time. <laughs> one I, more time. I gotta confirm. <laughs> okay, ready? No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, I'm getting followed. I'm getting followed. There's no way I'm taking it. There's no <laughs> way I'm, I'm getting followed, and I can't get down. Darn it. <laughs> no, I'm getting followed. There's no way. Bro, there's no way. <laughs> I think being followed would be fine. Yeah, he doesn't even say hi. Yeah, he just says your dude. He's, he's, just, he's your guardian. Everybody's angel. like, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's no. Yeah, you could like use it as that's like that's my alien. <laughs> it's your, it's your <laughs> security. That's dude. my alien. Like, don't mess with me. You see that guy? You guys right don't there? have an alien? <laughs> <laughs> so when some guy picks on you, starts to fight with you, like you get mugged. Some guy stabs you. <laughs> <laughs> mugs you. Be like, hey, hey. <laughs> you see? Wait, is he just hovering? He's with me. Yeah, he's just <laughs> he's like right by. He's him. not walking. He's like that little sparky fairy dude from uh, Zelda. How tall is he? He's like a little tiny. Looks like a little just tiny a little dude. alien. <laughs> just a little. He's not the just one just floating around, dude. He's just like around. a fairly odd he's, he's like sparks from Spyro. I guess he's you. Fairly <laughs> <laughs> I guess you, I'm taking the walking one. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Follow me around. Yeah. Man. Same. All right, bro. This next one comes from Anaria Panera. Anaria Panera. Slide down rainbows. Would you rather be able to slide down rainbows or jump on clouds, dude? Are are we talking that rainbows only when they pop up? You know what I mean? Like, how often yeah. do you see a rainbow? Correct. How often do you see clouds? Every day. Almost. Almost every day. Most days. Yeah. But there's some clouds that don't look jumpable. Or is it like, can you spawn rainbows and slide around? Kind of like a superpower. Like your superpower is you can spawn a rainbow and use it for transportation. So you're like Frozone, but just with rainbows. Yes. Is that what I, that's what I'm asking? <laughs> I'm a, a yes. <laughs> okay, so that's what you can do? Yeah, yeah. Or you can bounce on clouds? <laughs> yeah. Question, how do I get up to the clouds? You jump. From a cloud. Can I ground. jump? Yeah, you also I can have summon the power. clouds. You also have the power of clouds. Clouds. Do Skittles come out of the rainbow? Yes. Rainbow. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> you can. That's an investment. Wow, that's loud, bro. No clouds, because like, bro, imagine you can like, basically run up a staircase. No. That's invisible. That's what I'm saying. Clouds is my first pick, but you can monetize Skittles. Like where your head's at. Oh, I I'm thinking long term. 
I'm thinking long term. I love it. I love it. All right, bro. This next one. Holy mackerel. We got a lot. All right. This next one comes from uh, Victoria Moser. Would you rather it Victoria. be Victoria? Would you rather it be summer all the time or winter all the time? So like no, summer, bro. <laughs> you don't have to think about it, bro. Summer, winter sucks. I'm just asking, how summer? How how is summer? Like Hawaii summer, or like your summer? Like, bro, su- it doesn't matter. Summer is summer. Bro, winter some, sucks. Some summers are very hot. That's all I'm saying. And like, what winter? Like Hawaii. We're winter? taking like the medium, bro. Like of the world, the so medium. The ex- the ex- so the exact Hawaii is 72 degrees year round. No, bro. That's we're, what I'm asking. Talking, we're talking, you got to go on the extremes. We're talking like no. middle, middle. Nope. You got to go extremes. Northern hemisphere, southern nope. hemisphere. We're talking. I'm in the talking middle. Moscow, Ecuador. Moscow, or Miami. <laughs> That's two extremes, bro. It's, it's say Virginia. No. It's say Virginia. Bro, summer, bro. If you think about it, snow sucks. The days are shorter. What benefit? Christmas is cool, but like it's the only thing that has you Moscow hanging on. Moscow or Miami? Year-round. Miami. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. <laughs> I don't know. Moscow? I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. They're negative what? Yeah. Fact. What temperature is in Moscow right now? Where's the Google guy? Hey, Google guy. <laughs> this is temperature in Moscow. I don't have a Google guy yet. 42. It's 42. Stop eating on the podcast. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. Next one comes from Isaac Parker. Hey, guys. Would you rather eat no candy at Halloween or no turkey at Thanksgiving? Isaac. No candy on Halloween or no turkey on Thanksgiving. I'm a side guy. I'm a side guy. I'm a side guy. I hate... Turkey's not even good. I'm a side guy. Not like in my relationship. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> like, Proud of you? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, yeah. I'm the main squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking on uh, on family gatherings. I will intentionally get... I was going to say less meat, but then I was... I'll intentionally get less meat. Yeah. And I'll bro. get extra sides. Stuffing? I could I could probably just skip the meat. Facts. No, yeah. I'm the same way. I hate agreeing with you. But, like, bro, <laughs> Thanksgiving, turkey's last on my plate. I put turkey on my plate just so someone doesn't be like... I, put, I, I put one slice, maybe yeah. two. I two, feel maybe obligated. Two. Like, I don't yeah. even really want it. I feel obligated. What if the turkey's deep fried and it's dark meat? <laughs> Dark mm. meat, deep fried. No, white meat. Excuse me. Over dark meat. No. For what, meat. health reasons? No, just for in general. What? You're a... D- what? No, bro. Don't do this to me. <laughs> no. It's just changing my whole perspective about you. Don't do that. White Nick. meat? Nick, don't do this, Nick. White meat. Don't. I'm going to ask you this question, and I want the answer. Dark meat. <laughs> dark meat. <laughs> Dark meat. Would you rather have white meat or dark meat? <laughs> dark meat. No, bro. What? Pause. Why? Dark meat. <laughs> dark meat. It's better. It's not. It's not better. It's not healthier. It's healthier and tastes better and overall a better time. What? You're taking a drumstick over a chicken breast? Yeah. What? Who's eating a chicken breast? Me. With options? <laughs> yes. Give me a thigh. No. What? Give me the breast, bro. For what? Breast and the wings. Bro. You don't know. You think you know. You don't know. I know. You're confused. I'm not. You're you're straw right now. You need to eat the dark meat. Once you go dark, you never go back. I'm disappointed in you. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm not. Dark mad. meat is superior meat. I'm not mad. No, bro. No, it's not. I found. I sound like I'm really talking about something else. I know, I know, they know. <laughs> Dark meat. No. Yes. Listen to what they're saying. I bet you they're agreeing with me. Look in the chat. I uh, know. I'm scared. Look in the chat. chat. Anyway. Scroll in the chat. We're going no turkey, right? <laughs> Look in the chat. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my spot. They're saying uh, white is. Dry. Yes, white is dry. <laughs> That's much better. 
Whatever, dude. All right, this next one also comes from Isaac. Uh, would you rather have free Wi-Fi wherever you go or free coffee wherever you want? So you don't do coffee, so let's change that a little bit. Free popcorn. <laughs> popcorn. <laughs> Bro, you're, you're not thinking this through. We don't even have Wi-Fi at the studio. <laughs> I know. And it could be I free. Mean, what kind of Wi-Fi? The best. Fios? Yeah. The dumb. thousand mega yeah. billions a second. Three hundred up for. We got NASA's down. internet. We yeah. We're going to the moon on our internet, dude. We can get service on the moon. Yes. Popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of popcorn? I don't need to be more connected. Extra butter. Movie theater. Movie theater butter is, is the way to go. Bro, have you ever done um, snow caps in your popcorn? Raisinets. Raisinets are good, too. Yeah. I'm on that way. It just gets so messy, bro. Like, I can't imagine just eating popcorn and having all of my hands without, the, without napkins within arm's reach. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Wow, we got two more. Would you rather have to... And this comes from Brendan Santhony. Would you rather have to speak in rhyme for the rest of your life or have to speak in riddles for the rest of your life? Riddles? Bro. Rhyme. No. Bro, think about it. You could just be... You could, you could literally be the riddler. I could be a super villain? For free? The, the Riddler? Think about being that witty. Like, all the time, you're just like... Like, rhyming is cool. Like, yeah, I get it. It's fine. But, like, riddles? You have to be so, like... <laughs> like, you'd be like, hey, where's my car keys? I'd be like, the car keys are in a speed... And I just think of, like, a cool riddle. Yeah, you're gonna need the power because you, you struggle. I don't have it! <laughs> I, don't, I, don't I see why you want it. I see why you want it. Because you're, you're not even close. You're, you're going rhyme. Head cakes. Hey. Okay. Just date. What? A little rhyme. A little rhyme? Sometimes. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's fun! It's fun! I think it'd be fun for a week. It'd be, yeah, it'd be great fun for a week. <laughs> and then you'd be that guy, bro. The rhymer guy. You'd be I mean, the riddle guy. You're basically the rhymer guy right you now. You only can speak in riddles. It. Imagine, like, normal conversations with most people. And you're trying to talk to them in a riddle. You're never getting your point across. No one's putting the energy into listening to you. Like, oh, I don't have time for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> you literally be, like, one of those... Literally one of those super villains that has, like, a diabolical plan all of the time. <laughs> it's like, what is he no saying? No one's going to want to talk to you. Where, what, is he, what is he saying? What is he saying, dude? All right, and this last one comes from Joshua Chandler. Would you trade? Would you trade twenty IQ points for twenty million dollars? Wow. Wow. Say it with me. We're gonna answer at the same time. No, first, what is what is the highest IQ? Like one seventy something, probably. So it's maybe like, two hundred. Two hundred sounds right. So we're making it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the points. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the points. Yeah, probably like two hundred. Two hundo. Yeah. Um, and that's a hefty chunk. That's a good chunk. But it's also a hefty chunk. That's a good chunk. 20 milli. That's a you can probably buy a couple IQ points back. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what can a million dollars buy me? An IQ point. I'm just thinking, like, my IQ right now, do I want to knock it down 20 points? I mean, what are you at? 40? Probably about 200, 250. <laughs> <laughs> we never did. We're supposed to do the IQ test. No, we never done it. No. Okay, genius level, I think, is like 150. 160. How are we gonna max Normal is like 100 to 120. 145. <laughs> so you're saying 
You're just under a genius. You're slightly below a genius. That's what you're saying. I'm, a, I'm around it. Give me the 20 million, dude. <laughs> Give me the 20 million, dude. Bro, 20 million dollars? What do I need to be smart for? No, I value At my, what point does, 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 does smartness I value my need brain. anything? I value my brain too much. My thoughts. I don't know what it would be like. But if I, you lose the points, like, you don't remember that you're dumb. I don't know what it would be like, and I don't want to find out. I'm just thinking, like, me, would I turn into you? Because... Well, you're basically scraping them 20 points right now. I mean, you're barely hanging. What are you, 25, 26? Sorry? I'm saying if you knock me down 20, I'll be like a, li- like a little above you. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Bro, this next one comes from Brendan. Would you rather... Live forever or wake up every day with a new superpower? Yes! That one. Live forever? I could get the superpower of living forever. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, that's but, just, that's but then, just probability. But then you would lose the... You would lose it. Immediately. <laughs> I felt every day I gained a new one, but I could keep the old one. You don't keep the old one. <laughs> Bro, imagine waking up and you have to just figure out what your superpower is. Jump today. Trying to figure it out. Can I fly? Oh, you? wow, that would be so much fun. Go on buildings, you gotta test it out. <laughs> no, nah, dude, I'm living forever. Live forever. I'm living forever. Really? Yeah. You want to live forever. I feel like that's overrated, dude. Imagine you get tired and bored, all your friends and family are dead, and you're just still alive, dude. That's what Captain America did. No. Sort of. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, sort of. No. Yeah, he grew old. No, the other girl grew old. He, he was frozen, bro. See what I'm saying? <laughs> no, he got frozen in ice. Yeah. So it's kind of like what he did. <laughs> then he went on to save the world. I'm pretty sure Walt Disney is frozen right now. Who's talking about? Walt Disney. <laughs> the Walt Disney. Don't tell They no. froze him. No, they didn't. He's frozen, bro. He's not on ice. They're going to dethaw him in like a thousand years. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Look it up. I'm not one to be like... You are one to... I'm, I'm not usually one to be like, Nick, like, listen to this. But, like, Nick, you need to listen to... This. Walt Disney, it's bro, not frozen. is frozen in Walt Disney World. I'm no, pretty he's sure not. he's in the Magic Kingdom. No, he's not. He's at the top of the Magic Kingdom no, he's not. in the Rapunzel Tower. No, he's and they're not. waiting to defrost him in, like, no, a thousand not. years. No, he's not. Yes, he is, bro. You've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's real. I'm not saying I believe it. It's just saying... It's something that I've heard. And I don't not believe it, bro. If you throw somebody, you freeze fish, you would dethaw the fish. The fish is alive, dude. If you th- if you froze me, dude, like Han Solo, you die. Han Solo did it. Walt Disney did it. I'm gonna do it. You gonna do it? <laughs> I'll do it. You gonna do what? Freeze me. Wake me up. Oh, you'll be dead. Wake me up. Have your ancestors wake me up. I'm pretty sure you just die from being too cold. That's what hypothermia is. No, if he's just frozen so fast. Your body doesn't have a chance to react to it, and you're just... Is that what you did? That's the research you did. The thorough research that I've done. Mm-hmm. On Walt Disney. That, yeah, How yeah. old was Walt Disney when he was froze? He was up there. And when he dethaws, he's not living much longer. Mm. But They'll put him back on ice. He just wants to pop in, pop he just, out. He'll pop in. For he's like, like, wow. Just a bit. Yeah, things going... Uh, things are all right. They're going good? <laughs> Need any ideas? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Superpower. Superpower. Yeah, uh, okay. I'm the opposite, though. Mua says, Would you rather. And I did not say that right. Would you rather have the water always be too. Would you rather have the water always be too hot or too cold? Are we like all of it? <clears throat> like all of the water? Like All the water you shower in, the yeah. water you wash your hands in. Drink with. Drink. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, can only be, it can only be so too cold, right? Because otherwise it would just be ice. Right, so it has to be 33. Degrees Fahrenheit. 
Yeah. Always just above freezing. It was very cold. Yes. You got to shower with a wetsuit on? <laughs> you shower whatever you want, dude. I feel like if it's too hot, if, it, if the water's too hot, does it cool down? Like you can you can put it into a bucket and wait a little bit? You can make a filtration system. You can, you can put it in your bathtub, wait an hour and get in? Surround yourself and your body with ice cubes. Hmm? The time it hits you, it melts the ice cube and it hits you at normal temperature. You got an ice suit. Ice, yeah, ice suit. Ice cubes suit. I don't know what you're thinking. Big, you, big, big freezer. <laughs> yeah, what, is you make your house just like a cooler. You live in a cool. You live in a cooler. The water, yeah, no, no. That's a tough question because it's either you burn or you freeze. I'm going. I'm going. Like too hot. Like burn. Like first degree. Burn. I'm going hot, bro. Go hot. I love hot showers. How hot's too hot though? You can you. There's a point of too cold, but there's no point of too hot. So are we talking scorching like? No, scorching. Four thousand degrees Fahrenheit. I'm saying it's too hot. You get burned. That's boiling, bro. That's burning your skin. You got okay. The question's easy, bro. You gotta go too cold. I would just never shower or never drink anything. You would never drink water. Or rather boil it. There's so many variables here. Straight up. Let's just say too cold. Cold too water. Cold. Too cold. Warm water. What are too you doing? Cold. Too cold. Okay. Too, too cold. cold. Going cold. All right. First question that I can ask. Second question that I can ask. Bro, how early do you get into the exit lane? Like the, the lane you need to get in the exit lane before your exit? How many miles? Miles? <laughs> no. <laughs> miles? I'm like... A scenario. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bro, this is the lane... This is like this is what the lady need to be in. Oh, <laughs> and I'm gone. I'm on my way. There's no. It's literally like. <laughs> if you fruit, you be fine. Oh, <laughs> and I'm Are over, you bro. Passing it? I might sometimes I'll pass it. I always I'll come back around. <laughs> no, but bro, I know that I'm gonna miss it, so I always I'll get I'll get in the lane like two, three, four, five miles before. No, here. no, I do it. Two, three, four miles. Two, three, four, five miles. I'm the, I am last second. <laughs> I am last second. You'll be all the you'll be in the other highway. <laughs> I'll be yeah. I'll be in H O V lane. You wait. You wait till the GPS says feet. <laughs> I'm like oh snap. I think it was like just, 200 feet. I'd be distracted. I'd be distracted. <laughs> just be in my head. Just be... Zoning out. Oh. <laughs> and then you're gone. You know what I mean? You got to make it happen. Right, right, Yeah, right. no, it's last second. I would say on a great day. Yeah. On a great day. A good day. Yeah, great day. Quarter mile. I expect I expect that from you. Yeah. On a, yeah. on like a really really well prepared day, quarter yeah. mile. All right, we got another one. If you guys could go back in time, this comes from Tom Campbell. If you guys could go back in time and kill one person, who would you kill and how would you do it? P.S. Cakes is so tall. <laughs> if you go back in time and kill one person, <laughs> who would it be and how would you kill him? Who am I taking out? Who are you taking out, dude? I'm not really a history buff, so I'm not sure who the bad guys were outside of Hitler. So Hitler. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm a that's a layout. I'm a default. Default. Default, default to Hitler. You killing baby Hitler? Right, fresh out the womb. Fresh out the womb. In the hospital. Like, as soon as he's birthed? It kind of changes. He's taking a mallet but it, to the head? All right. Kill a baby? There's no way. You're not killing Hitler. Not a baby. There's no way. <laughs> At what age is it appropriate to kill him? Maybe after he kills his first person. Maybe I'll, I'll get into his life. I'll try to influence him a little bit. You're going you're gonna to let him kill somebody? I'm going to see if I can change his heart. Maybe befriend him. As soon as that man's 18, bro. Pow! Got to. An it's adolescent. Hitler, bro. An adolescent. Yeah, no, at that point, he's legally... Good to go. I'm just gonna make sure, like, he's still, like, 
If I pop in like, hey, what's up, bro? You wanna go, you wanna go shoot some hoops? <laughs> and just see like, see where his head's at, you know? Yeah. He's like, hey, dude, I got this plan. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but you wanna go watch a movie? <laughs> Instead, <laughs> just try to, you know. I feel it. I try to sway him a I little love bit. Your heart, dude. Gotta sway him. Yeah. And then you know, once he's like, pretty yeah. adamant. I'm wringing his neck, dude. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ring. I'm ringing him. Maybe, uh, maybe poison. I feel like poison because you can do it and you can leave. You know, like you a feel, like a delayed feel effect. Feel a little one. less bad about it. Yeah, like boy, like somehow in his sleep, like he he drunk. Like I was like, cheers, dude, on your mission. You just put one too many ads. And though. just just tricked him. <laughs> you know, something like that. I don't uh, know. Probably yeah. Hitler, I guess. But that you that's just a that's a, just a bad bad situation all around. Uh, you you know. got a bounce? I do, yeah. I got to bounce. All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for coming to the podcast. Uh, How'd you two meet? We'll answer that. Yeah, well, you go ahead, dude. You can answer it, dude. Out of the podcast. We'll do it in a second. Okay. Uh, anyway, thanks for uh, coming out, guys. If you want to support the podcast, we got merch, Freddie merch on feelsright.shop. And we also have a Patreon where you can support. It has different tiers and stuff that you can check out. And that's just patreon.com slash Freddie Show, F-R-D-I Show. Love you. Love you. Goodbye.